On today's episode, Tesla releases a new update on their Optimus robot, the first Model 3 Plaid is spotted in the wild, Giga Mexico construction is finally on, and people continue doing ridiculous things with their Cybertrucks. In a new video posted to X, Tesla has revealed their latest advancements on the Optimus humanoid robot project, also known as the Tesla bot. What we are looking at here is a new Gen 2 prototype bot walking around in a big circle near the product development area of Tesla's robotics department in Palo Alto, California. Now, at first glance, this might not look like much, but let's rewind one month to January 30th when Elon Musk posted this video of a previous Tesla bot prototype walking through the same area. Notice the difference? Back in January, the bot was kind of shuffling along like an old man, which of course brought out more than a few comparisons to the President of the United States, and not to get political here, but the robot totally does walk like Joe Biden, that's not a joke. Now, fast forward to the Tesla bot on February 24th, and you can really see the difference in walking mechanics. This bot would easily leave Joe Biden in the dust, it's getting pretty damn close to walking like a real human being. And thankfully, we had one of the Tesla bot lead engineers, Milan Kovac, jump on X to provide some additional details on the bot's performance. He says that the speed we are witnessing is around 0.6 meters per second, which is a 30% increase over the first Tesla bot Gen 2 video that was posted on December 12th, 2023. This is still only moving at about half the average walking speed, which is 3 miles per hour or 1.3 meters per second. But Kovac goes on to explain the full depth of performance increases that have been made in just the past month. Quote, We've improved our vestibular system, our foot trajectory, and our ground contact logic. We've upgraded our motion planner and made cuts to our loop latency across the bot. Optimus is more stable and more confident overall, even during turns. We also added a slight torso and arm sway. End quote. One of my favorite things about the new video is that you can see all of the product development going on in the background. Tesla has a huge warehouse space dedicated to working with a fairly large number of bots. You can probably see 10 or 12 of them around the office tethered to special rigs built into the ceiling. The pace of improvement here has been really impressive and it's cool that Tesla has been taking their fans along for the ride. Obviously, there are a lot of projects that they need to be more secretive about, but the Tesla bot feels a lot more like a SpaceX Starship, in that we get to see all of the different prototypes, the trials and errors, the improvements. And then, just like the Starship finally took to the sky, eventually we'll see these bots out in the world. Hopefully, they don't explode as frequently as Starship, though. We've got even more interesting video coming from X. This time, it's the very first sighting of a brand new Model 3 performance in the real world without the camouflage protective coverings. This is coming from our new friend Desmond Wisely, and he managed to get a clip of the much anticipated Model 3 performance redesign in the new ultra red paint color. Apparently, the car was being driven through a public space outside of a museum in Valencia, Spain. The vehicle is obviously being used in some kind of a Tesla video production. We can see some professional camera gear in the background and around the vehicle, especially in this second clip where a person in a high-vis vest comes over and tells Desmond he can't film them. So, a few very obvious new features here that we note. We don't get a great view of the front, but you can definitely see a new splitter along the lower lip of the bumper. We've got some brand new black coated sport rims that look pretty sweet. I hardly ever like Tesla rims, but these are cool and you can see red brake calipers underneath with extra large discs. As you'd expect with a performance variant, this car is much more low slung and hugs the ground. Moving around the back, we've got a very prominent new spoiler built into the trunk lid, a black rear diffuser, and the ludicrous badge. This has been confused with the plaid badges that came on the back of the Model S, and that's fair, the resolution here isn't great, but if we go back to our Spaceballs movie lore, Ludicrous speed comes before plaid and is shown with white streaks on a black background. Plaid is orange lines on black. Anyway, I think what Tesla is signifying here is that this is definitely not a three motor platform like the Model S plaid, but it's still going to be ludicrously fast. We are expecting a much different experience from the previous Model 3 performance, 
which was essentially just a long range with lower suspension, bigger brakes, and a software-based acceleration boost, one that any long-range Model 3 could purchase over the air. So with this new release, we think it's much more likely to see an upgraded drive unit and battery pack that are unique to the ludicrous trim option. Now, let's just hope that we don't have to wait much longer to find out just how fast the new Model 3 truly is. We've heard a lot of back and forth over the past year about when Tesla would actually begin construction on their next Gigafactory project in Nuevo Leon, Mexico. Well, the latest word from Governor Samuel Garcia Sepulveda is that the official groundbreaking date has been set for March 3rd. We do know that some preliminary construction activity has already begun at the site, but the official start had been pushed back due to ongoing environmental permitting concerns. Now, that all seems to have been cleared as the governor of Nuevo Leon announced, quote, Tesla starts next Sunday. There will come a lot of investment, a lot of development, a lot of spillover. The governor acknowledged that there had been issues with electricity and water demands for the new factory, and of course its impact on the local environment, but he says that he's talked with higher levels of government in Mexico and made an arrangement that will be successful in getting work moving along next month. The Gigafactory site is located in Santa Catarina, which is within the Greater Monterey metro area, a new hotbed for American tech companies that are investing in Mexico as a new manufacturing hub, part of the nearshoring movement to move key production sites out of Asia and back over to our own side of the ocean, where things are more secure going forward. Tesla has promised that Giga Mexico will be their largest factory yet and will produce millions of their next generation vehicle platform for the Central and South American markets, countries where the small and affordable EV is likely to thrive in the coming years. We've got two instances here of people taking their new Tesla Cybertrucks to the extreme, both involving water, just in different states of matter. Let's start with liquid. If you were curious about how far the Cybertruck's wade mode could be pushed, this is the most extreme example yet. TechRax is a gigantic YouTube channel that has been around forever and is continuing to drag out the long-standing trend of taking expensive new technology and breaking it for views. He's recently graduated from smashing iPhones with hammers and throwing them in blenders to water damaging his new Cybertruck. The video kind of speaks for itself. TechRax manages to find a ridiculously flooded road somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. He puts the Cybertruck into the off-road setting, activates the wade mode, and drives headstrong into a puddle of water that gets up to a few feet deep. Honestly, the Cybertruck handles the situation like a champ. The water is coming up over the hood on a few passes, and they do this several times. The truck seems to push through the water with ease, even at higher speeds, with a pretty significant bow shock out front. As for the aftermath, it looks like the damage was pretty minimal. Aside from a few plastic body panels getting pulled loose, the only permanent side effect was on the tonneau cover control panel. The buttons on the truck bed stopped working, but the mechanism is still controllable from the app and seems to work just fine. So probably don't try at home, but if you're ever in a pinch. And now into the snow. If we remember from a couple weeks ago, Dave Sparks from the YouTube channel Heavy D Sparks was working on converting his new Cybertruck into a snow machine with a set of four tank treads where the tires used to be. Well, after some trial and error and breaking things, Dave was actually successful at creating the world's first Cybertracks. He even says that Tesla has been supporting his project and helped him out with a bunch of technical questions and other stuff, which is pretty cool. Now bring this up to Canada next winter and we'll go for a rip. 